Hey guys, so this Friday we are back with a brand new skit, and what is happening this week is I create a robot that is smart enough to take all my tests for me so I never have to study and be stressed out ever again. Something that I think that we've all thought about if we could do it before and then get really sad knowing that we can't. But I wrote the script for it and I thought that it was hilarious and it's also really weird but I think in a really good way. Like how at one point for example like a random homeless man just jumps out of my closet, gives me an Ouija board and tells me that like if I give my soul to the devil then the robot Bot Blake will come to life. So things like that make this video really weird but I think it makes it even better that way. So weird but in the best way possible. And I think that the script is really funny and really great and I cannot wait to start filming it so let's get started. I can't believe my math teacher is assigned an exam. So I speak about this video a lot in my behind the scenes when we use it for comparisons to when I film things that aren't really on camera but are in the background like a phone call or a background noise or a song or a montage of some sort. Yes, because today we are doing round two of the montage montage. It is the return of the montage montage. So for those of you who have not seen the video, it was for my 2017, I think. I think it was 2017. But it basically, it was a Valentine's Day special at or around that time where basically uh, I create a montage to get ready for a date because I can't use any actual montage music for copyright. So I make my own montage montage. And now I feel like since we talked about this video a lot for my behind the scenes, this could be a perfect time to do a sequel to the montage montage in this video because we don't have the same circumstances for what's happening like in the main video and why I'm doing it, but it's similar because I'm creating a robot. So I'm really happy to be using another montage montage. And then the next clip is the real recording of it. It is the soundtrack to the montage montage. So I hope you enjoy it. Montage, 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 so you are alive! This is gonna be great up until you rise up and take over all of humankind! Up until that point though, I was kind of wondering, and I did not like the way I said kind. I don't know man, something about the government, and I was not supposed to say man. Look, I appreciate it, but you should not have a sure, why not attitude about it. I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but this is definitely going to be the most difficult test of your entire life, and will, without a doubt, 100% be the most hardest thing you ever do. I said most hardest. Alright class, pencils down. Hand in your tests, and I'll give them back to you after lunch, because I'm so lonely. I don't have anybody in my life to call during my free time, because according to my therapist, I push people who are close to me away. And this is not the part when I'm supposed to get mad during the clip. Huh. This makes me really glad that robots don't have emotions. And I was not supposed to say really. <clears throat> You're right. You just confirmed every thought I've had. And I don't know what this was. <sighs> I promise you will not regret this. And I said this line way too happily. Well, too bad. If you need help studying for a test, then just ask your mom to help you because I'm way too busy. And I was not supposed to say way. Oh, come on. If she hears you trying your hardest, then she will still love you and be... And I said hears you trying your hardest and not sees you trying your hardest. Have fun studying. How dare you. I created you so I wouldn't have to study anymore. Not so my peers can gain respect for me. And I forget the rest of my line. Yes, you shouldn't have done that. Because I'm a robot, so I could just shoot lasers at you. And I did not say that intense enough. My Amazon Alexa. Hey guys, so I just really want to do a how-to in this video to teach you how to get Alexa to say whatever you want. So here is how you get an Alexa to say whatever your heart desires. Alexa, Simon says nobody likes watching your videos, Blake, and you should quit YouTube because everybody hates you. Nobody likes watching your videos, Blake, and you should quit YouTube as everybody hates you. See? It works! I wanted to let you know that me and Alexa are running away to get married. 
and I forget the rest of my line. Oh, absolutely not. You are not getting married. I have seven tests next week, so stop being so selfish. And I was not supposed to do this. And because of how much love I have for Alexa, I now know that the answer is yes. And I took way too many pauses for that. Huh. So Bob Blake's kind of a creep. And I did not like the way I said kind of a creep. Yeah, about that. Last night, I really did think about a lot about what you said yesterday. And I forget the rest of my line. But that's okay with shocks. Everybody can change. And my hands are not supposed to be here right now. So you're going to give me all of your lunch money because you're a squatty twig who can't fight. And I'm supposed to say twig later on and not here. So this little masterpiece here is Bot Blake. So we have a trumpet stand that I also sometimes use to record my videos because I don't have like one of those things that holds up cameras when you film. So I use my trumpet stand from back when I used to play because it's a cheap way to do it. I don't need to spend money on something I don't have because I am very cheap. So this is a good life hack for that. And here is some sort of brush that I found in my storage unit. I don't really know what it's for. It doesn't really look like a hairbrush. But I found it, and it looks like it could be a pretty good arm. Here is one of the tubes from my Cheese Doodle Halloween costume that I had back in 2015 that I also found in my storage unit. Then we have a bunch of just brown pieces of paper there, like taped on terribly to it for the joke. We have eyes that make them look insane as they are black pupils with red in the background to make them look crazy. And this is to clarify that it is a robot version of me. This very, very terrifying picture was a picture taken on my first day in kindergarten. I still remember. We all have our terrible pictures. This is unfortunately one of the best ones of me that there is. Uh, but this was taken on the first day of kindergarten. I still remember it. The only thing I remotely respect about this picture is that I'm in a Mets shirt. Go Mets! I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that, yeah, and that is understandable if I do. But this is Bot Blake. So this is the masterpiece. And then the thing that things that hold up the trumpet stand are its legs. So here it is. This is so terrible. <laughs> so that is a wrap on this week's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really thought that this video came out really good in the ending. And I really liked Bob Blake and I liked his design. That design though broke a lot like off camera, so I had to rebuild it pretty much every night. Because, like, with, like, the paper on it, that stuff was fine. But with things like the brush and the cheese doodle Halloween costume tube for its arms, that fell off pretty much whenever I moved it. So I had to rebuild that over the past five days I've been filming. I probably had to rebuild that a total of, like, ten times. Uh, but I think that it was worth it because I really liked the way this video turned out. And I really hope that you all feel the same way. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I'll see you all next Friday in a brand new skit. Bye. Hey guys, so thank you all so very much for watching this week's new skit. To see the main video, then watch I'm a Bot. And to see the previous skit, then watch The Office Storms Area 51 and the behind the scenes for that NBC streaming service behind the scenes. And to see the previous vlog, then watch The Fall TV season is almost here. So thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much and I'll see you all next Friday in a brand new skit. Bye. <sighs> so tell me in the comments below if you liked this video. I've been trying to make the videos I make a lot more out there, weird, and I guess just overall unpredictable lately. And I think that, in my personal opinion, they have been really good because of that. And we have some, in my opinion, again, uh, really fun videos coming out within the next few weeks. But tell me if you guys kind of like the way that I've been doing things lately. Because I feel really proud of all, like, whenever we kind of bring something that you wouldn't really expect to see into my video. And I think that's really fun to do and really fun to write. So tell me if you guys like seeing that. Like I did that in this video when like the old man just came like like dashing out of my closet saying that like if I sell my soul to the devil then Bob Blake will come to life. Something like that that you just wouldn't expect to see just shows up. That's basically what I've been trying to do there. In real life I'm a very weird and out there person and I guess kind of wacky. And I'm trying to reflect that more in my videos. So tell me if you guys really like that and uh, I really hope that you do like it, because I really like doing that a lot. But thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you all next Friday in a brand new skit. Bye!